What if I tell you that you could use sprue goo in a more controlled, better manner, quickly and without having to buy extra glue, extra models, you've already got the equipment at home right now, you've got your sprue and you've got your glue and you're going to basically turn it into a sprue goo crayon. What's going on guys, welcome back to another one tip does plenty. Now. Do you always get a little bit annoyed when this happens? Ah, oh, it was such a good model until this happened. Well, there's another thing you can do. People like to use milliputs or green stuff. Um, sprue goo can be another option as well, but a lot of people don't have the time, they don't want to pay extra for miniput or green stuff, they don't have the time, they want to get a bit of quick hobbying done, and they also, you don't, who wants to go buy extra glue to make sprue goo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty proud of myself for that one. <laughs> now let's travel back in time to the source of this problem and that is why we are building it and i built this whole model without getting rid of any of the mold lines i left these cracks in and i just wanted to see as much as it actually pained me to do what it was like to build a model without doing any model prep or model care to it just to see what the end result would look like now at the same time i built another model simultaneously and as you can see here what we're going to do is we're literally going to get the sprue that it arrived on chop a little bit of it off put some glue in that crease line or that mold line that we've got there or where the model hasn't quite met up and we're just going to rub it up and down like a crayon and on another part of the model on the other side i'll show you a little bit of a better skew of it again getting that glue along that line that we want to cover getting our bit of sprue and just rubbing it up and down and then we need to leave it to dry that is the only little caveat to this it does need a fair amount of time to let it dry give it a couple of hours so that you're not sort of just peeling away uh wet plastic because that will ruin it later down the line it doesn't matter what the top level looks at this point because we are going to treat it and care for it in a moment now i'm just going to pop that all to one side and show you what i mean with this technique being better than using sprue goo so i'm just going to join these two bits of sprue together using the sprue goo that i have already made up now having left it for a few hours to dry i'm just going to get my knife and shave it down like i would any other model to try and create a flat surface now that does work but what you will see here is that there is bubbles left in the plastic from where the sprue goo was and that is what we are going to get rid of with this technique that i'm showing you today now back to our model and what we want to be doing is putting our knife onto the model at about a 45 degree angle and then scrape away from ourselves as you can see that i'm doing here um what i'm doing is it's just sort of like getting that bottom part of the sharp end of the blade and it's removing that top layer of plastic and it is just slowly filing it all down i'm sort of cutting bits away where it's gone a bit thicker but when i'm doing that scraping motion i'm going back in at that 45 degree angle and just going up and with the model trying to keep everything as flat as possible and with that all done let's get this painted up so we can see what the end results are for our efforts that we have just applied <laughs> hang on a minute this ain't that type of video so as we can see here there's a definite difference in model care and no model care by using the sprue as sort of like a crayon as i've sort of said throughout all of this you can see there's been there's a clear difference between the visual finish of both models anyway guys i really hope you've enjoyed this video and you've learned something that you can take away and put into practice so if you want some more tips, look over here. If you want to see some of my larger builds, look over here. <laughs> anyway guys, until next time, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>